Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David. Today we're going to do another Legends book review. Hey, welcome back. So if you don't already know, I'm going through all the different Legends books in order. Uh, reading them in order, reading them with the insight of now living in 2019 and having seen all the movies that have come out since then. I think a lot of us read these books a long time ago and kind of have fond memories of them, but don't really remember kind of like what they were like. And so I'm gonna go over those uh, different books, kind of read them in order, put them all together, and then ask a couple poignant questions, I hope, at the end. Let's look at The Courtship of Princess Leia. All right, The Courtship of Princess Leia by Dave Wolverton. I think the title, uh, when I first saw it and started to read the book, I kind of thought it would, this was gonna be like a romance story. Like, hey, this is the story about how Han Solo and Princess Leia fall in love, right? But of course, I was also hoping for some action, some space, uh, epic suspense, and some mystery. That's not really the case. That's not really what this book is about. <laughs> Leia is being wooed by the handsome Prince Isolder of the Hapes Star Cluster. Man, I hope I'm saying that right. And uh, Leia must choose between marrying for the good of the Republic or marrying her true love, Han. In a fit of desperation, Han kidnaps her and accidentally crash lands them on a planet that contains a dangerous force presence. And really the book kind of had somewhat of a ridiculous premise I mean, through the story, we learn that Han is actually a king, that he is old Karelian royalty, and that he actually owns a planet. So that felt a little outlandish and silly, but I think there are parts of the book that were enormously entertaining and surprisingly heartfelt. One thing of note is I think the courtship of Princess Leia definitely has a place in Star Wars history and Star Wars canon because it's the book that introduces the Witches of Dathomir into the Star Wars Expanded Universe. All right, so what did I think? Uh, I thought it was a good book. I think it shows how Han and Leia's relationship is a strained one, a forced one, uh, something that has a little bit of push, and it gives a little bit more insight into Luke's continuing journey to become uh, one of the greatest Jedis in Star Wars canon. Uh, the writer, Dave Wolverton, does an excellent job keeping your attention. He gives just enough detail so the story flows. It has fluidity, and I think as you read it, you, you aren't really watching how many pages you're reading. You're just enjoying the fact that you're reading a book. So I enjoyed reading it, and like I was saying earlier, it's really great how uh, Dave Filoni used the idea of the Night Sisters and Dathomir later to kind of legitimize it in an episode of Clone Wars. So overall, I think it was an enjoyable read. Uh, I have also uh, read from other reviewers that this book is setting up the premise and some of the groundwork for some of the books that are coming up in the future that I haven't read yet. So I'm looking forward to that. And of course, it's a story of faraway planets and exotic creatures, which is kind of what Star Wars has always been. All right, so a couple questions we always ask at the end of our book reviews. Number one, is this canon? Ah, uh, no, this is not canon because they say that Han's last name is Solo and that he's related to this long line of Solos that uh, were Karelian royalty. And that does not fit the movie, right, re that recently came out about Solo and how he got his last name. So it doesn't fit canon. And what was terrible about this is I think it was one page. It's one page in the entire book. And that's the only place they mention it, and it's the only place it ever gets mentioned ever again. You could t literally tear that page out of the book, and then your book would be canon. <laughs> but that one page keeps it from being canon. Second question is, would I make this book into a full-length feature film? Oh, some of the critiques have been, why are we coming up with brand new stories for the feature films when there's already these great books uh, that we already have? And so after reading it, of course, I can't really say I would want to watch this on the big screen. It would probably make a good, uh, you know, short uh, cartoon, like an episode of Clone Wars, adapted. I think that would be great. But as far as it being a full-length feature film, no, I wouldn't make this no film either. All right, so that's my review of The Courtship of Princess Leia. Uh, it occurred to me that while I'm doing reviews for books, I could also start doing some reviews for games. I have a lot of Star Wars card games, uh, and I reviewed the Han Solo 
card game a little while back. Uh, so I'm going to start reviewing some of the other card games as well and giving you a little overview of what some of those look like so that you can make a good purchase and maybe have some Star Wars games around the house because I think that's another way to bring Star Wars into our world. Hey, thanks for watching guys. It means a lot to me. May the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.